for 17 years. In this cabinet here, we got some Rescue 42s. Terry Shane has been a Colonial Heights firefighter the last 12. This vehicle here is used for tech rescue. He's also been a member of the Crater Regional Technical Rescue Team. We train on all aspects of tech rescue, rope, confined space, structural collapse, trench, water rescue, um, wide area searches. On September 25th, Petersburg firefighters were called to this home for a man trapped in the basement after a partial collapse of the first floor. Because of the danger, Petersburg Fire calls in the Crater Regional Technical Rescue Team. On the initial entry team, it was myself and uh, Mike Gigenheimer, captain with Fort Greg Adams. For nearly three hours, both firefighters would stay under the house. And while the goal was to get the trapped man out, that wasn't the first thing rescuers had to do. So it's a slow, methodical movement. We have to build up and structurally support the floor and basically create our own path into the victim. All the while, there's the threat of another collapse. You always have that fear in the back of your mind that this may be your last call. Once the pair made it to the victim, the biggest thing is to stay calm because it's just another day for you. For them, it's it's life changing for them. In this case, there's a language barrier as the victim didn't speak English, but Shane surprised by his demeanor. Relatively calm, despite all of the actions that had happened to put him in that position. Rescuers use IVs to help manage pain and the trauma to his leg. He was pinned just between his ankle and his knee on his left leg. While firefighters Shane and Gigenheimer stayed under the house almost the entire time, other tech team firefighters were in and out, as many as 10, each having a unique job to get the structure stable. Every move that we made, something else moved that we would have to compensate for. Nearly three hours after the collapse, the victim is brought out into a waiting helicopter. All the firefighters also make it out safely. The specialized training for the firefighters from the five jurisdictions making up the crater team pays off once again. The Crater Regional Technical Rescue Team trains 10 months out of the year, averaging 8 to 10 calls a year, where their specialty is critical to resolving a dire situation. Coming up all new at 6 o'clock, the mental toll after spending that much time with a threat over your head. In Colonial Heights, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.